Hey guys, let's discuss this problem on probability. This problem says three coins are tossed simultaneously 100 times with the following frequencies of different outcomes. So this table shows you that outcomes are no head, one head, two heads and three heads. Frequencies are 14, 38, 36 and 12. What, what this data in the table represents? When three coins tossed 100 times, 14 out of 100 times, no heads appeared, only tails appeared. 38 out of 100 times, only one head appeared, rest were tails. And 36 out of 100 times, two heads appeared and one tail appeared. And 12 out of 100 times, three heads appeared on all the coins. Now, when you sum 14, 38, 36 and 12, you will get 100 coins, 100 tosses. Now, from the given data, what do you need to find out? If the three coins are simultaneously tossed again, then you need to compute the probability of two heads coming up. So, in the given data, in what tosses only two heads appear? On 36 tosses out of 100 tosses, exactly two heads appeared and only one tail appeared out of 100 times. So, total number of tosses were 100. But only on 36 tosses, exactly two heads appeared. So, probability in this case will be 36 divided by 100 because total number of tosses were 100 and out of 100 only on only on 36 tosses two heads appeared now in the second case three heads coming up and you can see this table here three heads appeared only on 12 tosses on the three number of coins now probability in this case will be 12 divided by 100 so this shows you that on 12 tosses three heads appeared on all the three coins and total number of tosses were 100. So this is going to be the probability in the case of second problem. Now in third problem, at least one head coming up. You should know the difference between at least and at most. At least means least. Least is one head and then two, three and so on. But when there is at most one, then it should not be more than one. In the case of at most, it can be 0 and 1, should not be negative because probability cannot be negative. Now here as in this question, it, it represents you at least, so you will be taking the case of 1 head, 2 heads and 3 heads because it said at least 1 head. So you will take 38 plus 36 plus 12. So you will sum all the, these tosses and then divide it by 100, this will give you the probability of third problem. Now in the fourth problem, getting more heads than tails. Now you have this given data, getting more heads. As there are three coins and you need to keep the number of heads more than tails. So if you keep the number of head one and you keep two tails, then tails will be more than heads in the, in the three coins. So what you will do at least keep two heads in on three coins and one tail. So this is be, this will be your one case. In second case, what can you do? You can take heads on all the coins. So in these two cases, there are two heads and three heads. Two heads appeared exactly on 36 tosses and three heads appeared exactly on 12 tosses. So probability in this case will be sum of 36 plus 12 sum of 36 plus 12 because number of heads appeared in these cases were more than number of tails and then you will divide it by 100 because you need to find out the probability and you always take in denominator total number of outcomes which are 100 here. Now getting more tails than head. So in this case 14 plus 38 because in this case number of tails appeared will be more than heads but in this case Number of heads appeared will be more than tails. Now let's see this one by one. Frequency of two heads coming up was 36. Total number of times of heads coming up 100. 
probability of two heads coming up 36 divided by 100 which is going to be 0 0.36 so you had 100 100 tosses out of 100 tosses only on 36 tosses exactly two heads appeared so probability in this case will be 36 divided by 100 which means 0 0.36 frequency of three heads coming up and you know that out of 100 tosses only on 12 tosses you got exactly three heads Total number of tosses were 100. Probability of 3 heads coming up will be 12 by 100 which means 0 0.12. In the third problem, frequency of at least, at least 1 head coming up. So, we took the case of 1 head, 2 head plus 3 head. So, which will be 38 plus 36 plus 12 which means to, out of 100 there were 86 tosses on which at least 1 head appeared. So probability in this case will be 86 divided by 100 which will give you 0 0.86. Now in the fourth problem, frequency of getting more heads than tails. I have took this case as well where more heads appeared on the coins was 12 plus 36 which means 48. Total number of times, tosses, total number of tosses were there 100. Now out of 100 tosses, only on 48 tosses, number of heads appeared on the coin was more than tails. So probability in this case is 0.48. Now in the fifth problem, frequency of getting more tails than head. So number of tosses in, on which this happened, 14 plus 38 which is 52. So probability of getting more tails than heads will be 52 divided by total number of tosses and this will give you 0.52. So I really hope there should be no doubt in the solution. I will be taking more problems in the coming video lecture. Thank you.